In this video, I will talk about the derivation of compensated demand functions by using an example of simple utility function. So, the compensated demand functions are simply derived from the expenditure minimization program. So here we assume that the utility level of the consumer is fixed or given. For example, the consumer have to obtain U0 level of utility by consuming the quantities of X and Y. So now we, we ask a question, what should be the minimum level of expenditure to obtain this utility? So we see that uh, at this point, at this point, we can reach the utility level U0 with the lowest possible budget. So to, to derive this point and the relationship between the variables, uh, let us consider that uh, we have a simple utility function, Cobb Douglas utility function, U, X, Y is x times y now let us fix utility at u0 u0 and we have prices of x price of y and the consumers budget so in this case the the expenditure minimization program emp is minimize minimize the expenditure the minimize the expenditure of the consumer the expenditure depends on price of sorry the expenditure depends on the quantity of x consumed the quantity of y consumed and the utility level utility level fixed so this expenditure is uh, given by the expenditure on x commodity which is px times x and the expenditure on y commodity which is py times y so there is a constraint subject to subject to u0 equals to x times y so the constraint is that we should be able to obtain this level of utility. So now we, we solve this constraint optimization problem by, by using the Lagrangian optimization technique. So the Lagrangian function in this case is simply the Lagrangian function is L X Y and lambda lambda is the Lagrangian multiplier that we are going to add in this equation so equals to P X times X plus P Y times Y minus lambda times the constraint so the constraint is X Y minus U zero so the utility function was u0 equals to x times y. So we simply take the homogeneous version of this, xy minus u0. So now the first order condition is del L over del x equals to 0. The partial derivative of L with respect to y is 0. And the partial derivative of L with respect to lambda is 0. So this gives us px minus lambda y is 0. This gives us py minus lambda x is 0. And this gives us xy, xy minus u0 is 0. So by dividing the first equation by second, we get px over py 
equals to y over x and this gives us y equals to px over py times x. So now we use this relation and substitute this in the constraint to get the demand functions. So if we substitute the value of y in this equation we get x times px over py times x minus u0 is 0. So this gives x squared times px over py is u0 and this gives x squared is u0 times px u0 times u0 times py over px sorry this this goes here and this goes here py over px and the value of x can be written as the value of x can be written as simply x which depends on the value of px the value of py and the level of utility fixed this is the square root of u0 py over px so this expression gives us the exchange demand for quantity x so here the demand for x depends on the level of utility fixed price of y and price of x similarly we can derive the exchange demand function for y commodity by simply substituting the quantity of x or the value of x in one of the equations so we substitute this value in this equation and we get y equals to px over py times x which is u0 py over px so this can be expressed as y is under root u0 this is py over px if you take this under the square root sign this becomes px square by py square so now the value of y is simply u0 px over py and the demand function for y can be expressed as y which depends on px py and u0 is square root of u0 px over py so this is the equation demand function for y commodity so the equation demand functions they are the function of two types of parameters one is the level of utility fix and the other is the price levels of the commodities so in notation the Higgison demand functions are simply denoted by the superscript C or H so this is simply denoted by xc or xh and this is denoted by yc or sometimes by yh so now we discuss some properties of the uh, compensated or equation demand functions the first property is that the quantity of x and y they indeed depend on the level of utility fixed 
besides prices. The, the second property, the second property is that the compensated demand functions, they are homogeneous, they are homogeneous of degree zero in prices so mean if prices of both commodities uh, increase at the same time the quantity demanded of x is not affected So thirdly, unlike the Marcellin demand functions, uh, the quantity demanded of x, uh, the the quantity demanded of x and y, uh, do not have the unitary price elasticity. It can be shown simply by taking log in the demand functions and uh, taking derivatives. So if you take the uh, log and uh, take partial derivatives, we can see that we can see that the elasticities elasticities own price elasticities are one by two. So you can take simply log. Uh, for example, if you take log, this becomes log x equals to 1 by 2 log u0 uh, plus 1 by 2 log py minus 1 by 2 log px. So now, if you partially differentiate log x with respect to its own price, the answer is negative 1 by 2 so price elasticity is 1 by 2 so there is also cross price elasticity cross price elasticities they are also 1 by 2 again for example if you differentiate log x with respect to log price of y this is positive 1 by 2 so cross price elasticities are also non-zero here so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for watching more videos in the future